When entering a formula into Excel, it's really important to understand algebra. What I'm going to ask you to do is highlight the cells B9 to B12 and press the delete key to delete those formulas. I'm going to ask you to click in B9 and we're going to enter a formula in B9. Based on what we know so far about arithmetic, if I asked you to work out the average of these four cells, you would probably add the four cells together and divide them by four. So based on what we know so far, I'd probably put a formula that said equals B4 plus B5 plus B6 plus B7 divided by 4. What that would do is go 10 plus 20 is 30, plus 30 is 60, plus 40 is 100, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. When I press enter, I'm then astounded that I get the answer 70. The reason I got the answer 70 is because of the way I wrote the formula. The formula must abide by algebra rules. Let me show you. Algebra controls the order in which a formula is calculated. And when I went to school, they taught me this word, BODMAS. BODMAS is an acronym. It's a word made up of the first letters of other words to help you remember the order. The B stands for brackets. The O just makes a word, so we use the term over. The D stands for division. The M stands for multiplication. The A stands for addition. And the S stands for subtraction. So when you enter a formula like this into Excel and you press Enter, Excel is immediately going to look for the brackets first, and whatever is in brackets it will do first. There are no brackets in this formula, so Excel considers that to be done. Excel will then look for division. So when you enter this formula and you press enter, what Excel does is it completely ignores the addition, slams on the brakes, and works out the division first. So in actual fact you have equals B4 plus B5 plus B6 plus 40, which is in B7, divided by 4 is 10. So now it considers the division to be done. Excel would then look for any multiplication, and there isn't any, so that's done also. Second to last, Excel will look for the addition. At this point, it'll go equals 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 10. And that's the addition. There is no subtraction in the formula, so it considers that done also. And the answer ultimately ends up being 70. The trick is to use brackets. What I should have got you to do is enter the same formula, but with brackets. If I put brackets before the B4, and a bracket after the B7, it will do what's in the brackets first. So what will happen, if I delete this, is we'll end up with equals 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 divided by 4. And that will give you 100 divided by 4. And what you're looking for is the answer 25. So in your spreadsheet, I'm going to click on the cell B9. I'm going to click up in the formula bar, and I'm going to make a modification to the formula. I'm going to click in front of the B4 and add an open bracket, just by hitting the Shift and the 9 key. And after the B7, I'm going to click and add a close bracket, which is shift and zero. When I press enter, I get the answer 25. And that's algebra.